Welcome aboard, I'm Mason the Yard Nut. Let's get into this before I start trying to ramble, because we all know that that generally doesn't work out too well. So, Presto's always going in. Did I even mention the name? Should I start over? Nah, you guys never see me mess up. <coughs> I'm sorry, I can't say that with a straight face. But, in whatever case, the fact of the matter is, eh, let's actually go with Wadsworth. Wadsworth's more fun. And we'll go with Stinky, too. Uh, yeah, I'm not going with any of these guys. I'm sorry. But I almost have enough shells saved up to get the final pet, so that'll be fun. Hello, Blip. I forgot to wait for the indicator. Darn it. I just wasted five dollars. Alright, so how are you all doing? Hope it's not a problem that it's been an entire week since the last episode. Well, almost an entire week. It's just kind of hard to find time. But I'm not going to spend another whole episode griping about time. That is not something we need. Believe you me. Let's see. Let's get there. Alright. Better food and more of it. Oh, I almost forgot Stinky could get those for me. So, what was I going to talk about? What was I going to Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Inside Out. So, I saw Inside Out. It was amazing. Remind me never to be a film reviewer because I would be absolutely horrible at it. <laughs> but seriously, though. All these people saying that it is Pixar's comeback and all that stuff. Yeah, they're right. They are entirely correct. It's just that good. Oh yeah, sorry, alien. You weren't good enough for me to acknowledge while I was trying to talk. Try not being such a scrub next time. Okay, so yes, inside out, wonderful. Plus a really good premise. And there are so many ways to go with that. And I, I will actually admit to looking up fan fiction and stuff for it. It's kind of cool. There are these ones where they introduce like if the characters could talk to Ra the emotions could talk to Riley. And if you've seen any of it, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, I should probably mention Inside Out is by Pixar, and it's about these emotions living in a girl's head. It's the girl's emotions, not like alien emotions or anything like that. There's emotions in everyone's head, and there's a really- okay. I'm gonna try to avoid spoilers, but uh, but I will give some vague hints as to stuff that happens, so you're warned. Just be forewarned. But yes, it is later revealed, as you've probably seen in the trailer, that everyone has emotions in their head at the control board, whatever. They do a really good job with it in movie. And then, there's a lot, there's a lot of sequel hooks, I gotta say. Well, there's not, well, for Pixar, there's a lot. There's a lot of places where there are things that you don't really see in, uh, explored in the movie or anything like that. Uh, like Lucid Dreaming. I mean, there's a dreaming sequence where they miss, oh, oh, no. There's a couple dreaming sequences. There's one where they mess with the dream, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But you do get the idea that lucid dreaming might be an interesting idea. As a way to get Riley into the world. And that was originally one of the ideas for the movie. Was having Riley go inside her own head. And then meet her emotions. I kind of like the current version of the story a little bit better. Though. I think they did a good job with it. But that leaves it open to the fans to create fanon about how it, all other stuff works. Fanon being that which is not canon, but is generally agreed upon by the fan base as being real-ish. And then you have the what-ifs of fanfiction. And I'm really liking a couple of them. One of them is where Joy... One of the fanfictions, by the way. 
uh, it, which are mostly used by fans to explore other points in the movie. But the movie doesn't go into. So the idea of Riley going inside, or, and this was a weird one of, well, kind of a weird premise, but it's a cool one, is if one of the emotions tries to take over as Riley. Yeah, but word of advice, go to TV Tropes or somewhere and look at the uh, recommended fanfics. I mean, if you're not willing to go through and sort out like you would in a bookstore or something what good and bad fics are, because trust me, there is a lot of bad stuff. Just trust me on that. Go to TV Tropes, it's worth it. In fact, if there's anything... If you're part of any fandom, I would recommend going on TV Tropes. It's kind of fun. I've looked up a lot of random works before, and it's it has some pretty in-depth analysis of at least the storytelling tools that are used. Uh, my only problem is that it doesn't really analyze any of the themes and stuff. I mean, some themes are as tropes, but they just mention that they exist. They don't go in depth or anything. And of course, spoilers on the TV Tropes page for anything. So they do do a pretty good job of spoiling stuff out. And by spoiling, I mean they keep you from looking at it unless you specifically click on it. You'll, you'd have to look at it. I'm not going to explain it here. Anyways, it's pretty fun. And they also have sections for... Uh, they call them head scratchers and wall bangers and trivia and all kinds of stuff. So where it just kind of talks about various conundrums and plot holes and little bits of trivia that are just kind of cool to see. And wow, we've managed to get up a good population of guppies without even an old-fashioned guppy spam. But I don't think it's going fast enough, so guppy spam! Hee 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 hee. Absolutely wonderful. But yeah, so I've had, I've had that on the mind and I've been kind of going through ideas. I actually have an idea for a fanfic of my own. Uh, fun fact, I once wrote a cyber chase fanfic. I haven't published it anywhere. It was actually as a school assignment. But yeah, that's a little fun fact for y'all. In any case, I was, I was thinking something like Admiral Thrawn got in there somehow. And I'm not going to say any more than that because I don't want anyone to steal the idea. Whoa, that's going to fit all the little guys from the Guppy's Bay into safety. And now they all spawn. That's hilarious. But yeah, Admiral Thrawn, one of the biggest characters from the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And if he got into Riley's mind, the headquarters with the emotions, as kind of like an agent of reason or something. And I said I wasn't going to talk about it. Okay. In other cases, I was... I'm kind of surprised that there aren't any... Well, there aren't many music videos made out of it yet. Probably has to do with the fact that it's just in theaters still. So you're not going to get any really good quality footage from which to make music videos. So I'm betting that when the DVD comes out, the fandom's going to go completely berserk and start making music videos and stuff. I mean, everything that, ha that can be done with the trailers, they've already done. Oops. Sorry, clicked outside the game window. Everything that can be done with the trailers has probably already been done. To a certain extent. I'd like to see a music video made with some of the old Bionicle songs. Like Move Along. By... I think it was by All American Rejects? Not entirely sure. I looked it up and put it along with some of the trailers. And it looks pretty good. It looks like it would fit in some bit of the themes kind of work. Sort of. At least for the first two parts of the movie. The first two acts. Maybe a little bit of... Maybe a little bit of the last 
Though you'd, you'd kind of have to go a little out of order with it. Speaking of which, do I have any Bionicle fans in the audience? Well, I guess that assumes that I have an audience. Yeah, I'm doing self-referential humor tonight. What about it? Darn it, dated to this podcast. Well, not exactly dated, but now you know when I'm recording it again. You know, at this point, it probably wouldn't hurt anything to tell you all that I'm always recording these now. And wait a minute. 14,003. <laughs> I did not realize that. I'm so sorry. I, I actually got to rambling for once. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, let's just get as many of these as possible. Oh goodness, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, move along. Let's see if this will be enough. It doesn't look like it will be. That's less than I get from just feeding the fish daily. Oh, look at that balance. 31,908. I might be able to get the bonus pet next time. Whew, now I'm conflicted. Should I go ahead and record now? Because I kind of have a little bit of time. Or do I want to go... Eh, nah. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you guys a chance to try and name fish or something. Speaking of which, let's go to the virtual tank. You can see everyone's nicely fed and running around and eating. Yeah, nothing's changed really. Why did I change the background to this one? Did I ever mention that on camera that I had changed it or anything? If this even is a change. I don't even remember. Oh well. Hey look at that, we're already over the 32,000 mark. We'll be there by next episode. And I'm gonna leave that there for now. Okay, so, now, I have to carry out my threat to name another fish because you lot don't ever try anymore. Spaghetti. Oh yeah, yeah, I, rem I remember why I named it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dumbfounded for a moment. Okay. Should I name this guy? I don't know. Both of these guys. Hmm. This guy looks more like a shark than the other one. Hmm. That gives me an idea. If he's a shark, then we'll just say that he his name is Jumped. He is Jumped. Jumped the shark. Ah. Doesn't have that. Jump the carnivore doesn't sound as good, though. Oh well. There you go. Completely cheesy name. Again. Let's see. Who else is still up for naming? Batfish. I forgot about him. Okay. Oh, I still need to replace these carny clones. We'll go over to the store and see if there's anyone over there right now. Uh, no one has named the amazing Technicolor fish. Oh goodness, I've got I've got to name him next time. There, there's the challenge, guys. I'm gonna name him next time if you guys don't suggest a good name for him. There you go. This is the guy going to be next time, assuming I don't forget. I probably will forget, but still, that's the challenge. <laughs> Invisible bouncer, this guy. Wait a minute. So it's just this guy and this guy? Oh, and this guy. And this guy. Uh -huh. Yeah, the bilateral said. Oh yeah, I forgot that Cookie counts as one of these and not as a pet or fixture. Okay, let's go to the store and see if there's anyone cool here. Ooh. A chartreuse and yellow. And, uh, what's that? Is that like a manila? Or is that just white and it's tinged by the adjacent colors. I don't know. Um, I don't know. What's a special? Exotic food. Hmm. The question is, is it worth doing that when we still don't have the final pet? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's save up. After we get the final pet, we can start buying these guys and buy the rest of the backgrounds. Maybe that'll unlock something. Pretty neat. 
All right. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.